So we got to talk about one other piece to this, which is Appium desktop. No mobile automation unless it's native. And but when I say native, I mean that we can do UI test automation through um, XCUI test, which is for iOS and through Espresso, which is for Android. Usually that's done on the developers and the developers, if they're writing code for those applications in those environments, and we can do automation through there. And that, that's what we call native frameworks. But outside of that, if you want to do any kind of automation or even interactions with your um, application, you have to use Appium Desktop. Everyone in the world uses it. So it's a critical component to talk about. Um, again, as I talked about, we have really good documentation. Um, Wim Sells that I previously talked about, who's a mobile automation genius and myself, we do a good job of maintaining this open source application and the documentations. So go there and there's a bunch of good instructions. And of course, if you, there are any bugs or any documentation you want fixed, definitely send us, pull, uh, send us feature requests and we'll fix it up, no problem. And I'll, and I'll send this to you guys afterwards as well. Um, but let's talk about Appium Desktop. It's the best is to just see it live. So Appium Desktop is just a software that you download. Um, it's bas it basically looks like this. Um, let me show you. So you download it. There's a bunch of steps to doing it, but you download it and you install it. Very simple. And then you start it up. It, uh, once you start it up, you get this Appium server running. The Appium server basically just processes everything that we do um, on our device. The Appium server takes it and sends it somewhere. It will either send it to Sauce Labs or it will um, send it to your emulator simulator device. And so this is the Appium server. And most of the time we will spend in this inspector session. So once this opens up, you click this inspector session looking glass and it opens up this this right here, okay? So this is where we basically create a way for us to interact and it's inspect our mobile applications. So here I have a iOS device running. This is an iOS simulator. And the way we get that, a, again, there's an, a lots of instructions at, at the link that I shared with you all, but basically for um, work with iOS, or Android, what you're gonna to need to install is XCUI test, which is the developer environment for iOS, and Android Studio, which is the Android development environment for Android. Um, and so here I have a bunch of simulators that I downloaded. You can see I can come here, pick you know any device that I want. In this case, I started up an iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is this right here, okay? And so this is a fresh device running now, and what I'm gonna show you all is how to start a session and start interacting with, the, with this device. So you come here to automatic server, which is usually the default place where it starts. And I already have a bunch of saved capability sets, but I will show you guys one of them. Um, let me see. Uh, here's one for iOS sample app. So these are known as Appium desired capabilities. Whenever we're doing automation, we, this is what we're gonna be passing in our code to, to create that automation. So we'll be setting stuff like, what is the platform we wanna run on? What is the device name we wanna run on? You know, where's our app located? And so on and so forth. There's like hundreds of these that we can configure. We can, for example, um, turn off automatically disable all alerts. We can, there's so many things that we can do. There's really good, uh, documentation from Appium on all of these. And so what you see here is the minimum required to start a session with Appium desktop and start an app in the simulator. So you'll see here that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click start session and it's gonna pull up this application, which you guys have seen before, is the iOS demo app. It's gonna open it up here. Give it a second. And while it starts up, I'm gonna say that uh, the way that I recommend for you all to develop your automation is definitely through local devices. It is much easier and much faster to interact with your application through a local emulator or simulator versus through Sauce Labs. Just because, again, with 
any cloud provider, there's always latency introduced. Um, so I'm going to allow WebDriver agent to run. And so now here's what you can see, right? You can see that the app has opened up here. And on the right-hand side, you see that representation of what's going on in the app. And so what this view basically provides us is the inspector for the, um, for the DOM of the application. Because if you guys are familiar with browser automation, there's no way to inspect the code of this app native application through here. Like I can't right click and say inspect and it doesn't show me the HTML. So actually what Appium does is they take the native code, they transform it into XML and then they display that XML for us here so that we can interact with that application. I'll show you guys more about that here. So look, for example, let's say I want to log in. So I'm going to do standard user and I'm going to do secret results. And so I'm going to log in. And so I've changed the state of the application here. And so, but you can see nothing has changed here. And so if we want this state to reflect what's going on here, we've got to refresh and then it's going to fetch the new state of the application. So you can see we did that. Give it a second. Okay, cool. You can see that now this is again reflecting what's going on in here. But the, what if, for example, we wanted to click this add to card button, right? So we use this uh, select elements tool to select our element. So you can see it's hovering over different stuff, right? So let's click on this one, for example. And over here, you can see it's showing us a bunch of stuff. Um, let me make this a little bit wider. So it's easier to see. You can see it's showing us a bunch of information. This is the information that we would use for our automation, right? We might use this X path um, to click on a button and so on and so forth. And I'll show you guys that in a moment. Uh, so if we wanted to tap on this button through automation, we can use the tap here, you know, and it will tap on this button. So look, it's going to tap here and it will, you can see it already got reflected in, um, in the actual application as well. We can tap it again to remove. And so what if we wanted to do this through automation, for example? Well, we can grab this name locator here. We will just grab this whole X path. Uh, actually, we'll just do name and we'll grab this name, right? Just like with Selenium, I don't know how many of you all are familiar with Selenium automation, but what we can do here is we can come here, search for elements. Again, just think of this as like a dev tools representation to be frank. I'm not the biggest fan of Appium desktop compared to again, web automation. It's drastically harder to use, but think of it as a um, developer tools that is getting better over time. So we can come here and we can say our selector is gonna be name, right? And then our selector is gonna be this. And so we can search and hopefully it comes back with multiple elements. If we did it right, you can see it came back with six elements that it found, which means it's representing six buttons. And so we can actually come here and we can, um, yeah, so we know that it worked. That's the selector work. And we would then convert that selector into code. Uh, whether it's Java code or whatever code you guys are using, we would just do driver.findElement by name, and then we would be passing in this value right here. And that's how we would do the automation with it um, and find all the locators. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. Um, so you guys already know how to traverse the applications. You can, again, you, the fa just to give you guys some tips, the fastest way, let's say you guys want to get to like a different screen here, right? So let's say you really want to check out work with a shopping cart. So you could see I had to log in, then I had to add an item to a cart and now I want to be here. Um, so the fastest way to do that is navigate through the mobile app, which as you can see much faster than doing that through Appium because let's say here, maybe you want to locate, you want to locate this remove button, right? So to, you, you use the mobile app to navigate here as fast as possible. And then you just refresh the state in Appium Desktop. And now you can start inspecting and interacting with your elements for automation. Mm -hmm.